All right, guys. So honestly, not a fun video to make today. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the title, but unfortunately, we did lose majority of our um, fish and coral in our tank. It looks completely different. Um, we had the tank actually get uh, poisoned by accident. I'm not going to say the person's name, but they accidentally poisoned our tank. And um, that was on Friday. We went to go pick up a... Um, yellow tang and two clownfish uh from reuben and when we came back the um the tank was toxic um we didn't really know until we had put in the um other animals so we did lose the yellow tang we lost the clown tang the coal tang um everything honestly the, i'll show you what we have left right now so as you can see we have that the gym tang he's the only surviving tang um this zoa rock i think they're gonna pull through all the zoas i'm not sure about the anthelia we lost all of our uh, lps and all of our hard corals they're gone um just basically the zoas are left uh, we kept the chromis all survived um, these are the new clownfish the hybrid um storms they're cost between a percola and a ocellaris and then our whamming white clown our midnight clown the orange storm clownfish unfortunately did pass. Um, the yeah, it looks pretty, pretty gutted, guys. Um, we did a huge water change. I was up till about four in the morning on. Um, sorry, I my days are crazy. On Friday, um, doing water changes, cleaning. Um, I took all the water out of the tank. Um, I was clean everything the fish were in buckets um were well, the ones that survived were in buckets uh pretty much all day saturday i did 100 percent water change even i even i cleaned out the sump i mean i water changed to everything and it was it was really shitty uh it's but at the end of the day it's something that happened we can't go back and fix it so the only real option, there's really two options. You can either quit or you can keep moving forward. So we're going to go ahead and try to rebuild this tank from quite literally the ground up. Uh, we did plan on filming a video to y'all um, to give to y'all on, on Friday. I was going to drop it on Saturday of us um, uh, unbagging, I guess you could say, that uh, yellow tang from Biota. He was super cool. And... Um, Believe it or not, <laughs> he actually, uh, we had him in the uh, like little acclimation box and he <laughs> fell out and the, he went face to face with the gym tang and this guy is so gentle, he didn't even care. This Everything they say about tang aggression, I have not seen from this dude. He never picked a fight with anyone that we had in here. Um, but uh, I think going forward, I'm gonna change a few things, uh, learn a couple of lessons from this but um overall it was a crazy weekend i think i slept like maybe six hours in three days um just working on this tank it's still not really complete um but yeah so some i think it was like some bleach or a, clean, a cleaning chemical got in it and it just instantly talks like made the water toxic by the time we were able to do all the water changes and all that because um it's been really cold here it's been freezing my ro is outside so i haven't been running my ro so by the time i got to the water mill I got the water, we got it over temperature, we got it mixed into salt, we did the water changes. It was too late, and unfortunately, we did lose most of the fish. So I will go ahead and I'll attach um, like the picture of the fish that we lost um, at the time. But overall, man, it just was not a fun experience, but it's something that it just happens in this hobby. Tanks crash for all kinds of reasons. Tanks get poisoned. It's just, it's a learning experience, man. So we're just going to go forward from here.